All right, whenever I learn something new, I like to make a video. Um, this is good for everybody that doesn't know how to do this particular thing. And also a reminder for me in the future when I forget how to do the exact same thing. So let's start out by a new project. This will be on how to drag and drop files and uh, control how they behave when you drag them into the form. So let's create uh, a form. If we compile this form just the way it is, we can test drag and drop and see what happens when we drag a file into it. And uh, let's uh, pick this file. And you can see that we got the little stop over the form, which means it doesn't support drag and drop. All right, we can fix this uh, going into the uh, properties and we select allow drop files. So switch that to true. And if we compound now and perform the same test, we should be able to drag a file. So if we if we do the same thing, you notice there's a little plus sign with a little file folder, kind of. Anyway, so that seems to be working now. And if we go back and add a few things, uh, let's add a button and let's add memo. Let's make this a little bigger. And uh, let's get rid of the uh, text from there. And so now, um, we should be able to add an event for dropping files. So we're looking for on drop file. Let, let's select form though. Otherwise we're not gonna find it. There we go, on drop files. If we double click there. So this event will get triggered uh, whenever we drag and drop files. Let's just demonstrate that it works by displaying a little message. And let's test this out. All right, let's drag this. And uh, yeah, you dropped the file, so that's working okay. And next thing we do, let's list the uh, file location of that file, the file path. And that should reside in this array file names. This is what gets passed whenever we trigger the event. So if we do memo one append file names and the zero index. So that's the first file name in the string array. So let's compile that. And let's perform the same test again. Let's drag a file. And that's the full path of the file, so that works. Let's try doing two files, and only one works. And that's because it's not coded to handle multiple files. So let's fix that. So what we can do here is add a for loop to go from the uh, lowest items at the uh, rate to the highest items and we can do this using the low and high function change the zero to I. So that should uh, add all the files we drag into it into the memo field area. So let's try this. And let's try this again. Okay, where did our just lost a 
here it is. All right, so let's um, let's try this again. And that worked. Let's do multiple files. And that also worked. So it's working great. Let's say we only want to make this work if we drag into the uh, memo field, if we drag anywhere else in the form or in the button that it won't do anything. So let's code for that. And uh, we need to know where the mouse pointer was when we released the uh, drop files. And we can do this by using the uh, T point and screen to client function. So I'm just gonna cut and paste some code here. So this will put the, uh, the information we need into this variable and we can check with the point in rect function to see if it's in a particular uh, control. So I'm just going to cut and paste some code here and modify that. So this is the uh, the function here, point in rect, and we change this to be uh, memo one. So if it's in the uh, if we drop it into the memo control, it will list the files. If it, we drop it somewhere else, it won't. All right, let's see if this works. And it doesn't recognize that, and probably because I didn't include the uh, the unit that's listed in. So let's try. that actually in, and that's in types so let's go back up here change this to types and let's see if this works uh, okay one too many brackets all right so let's uh, try again Let's drag one file. We drag it into the memo field area, it works. We drag it somewhere else, nothing happens. Drag it into the button, nothing happens. And drag multiple files into the memo field, it works. Drag multiple files outside, it doesn't work. So it works as expected. Let's try uh, checking if we drop it onto the, the button. So let's um, change this instead of being memo, we change it to button one, and let's see if this works. So this change, if we drop it on the button, it will list it in the memo field. So let's see if that'll work. I'm just giving you a few different options to see that, you know, the dropping into different controls actually works. So let's try our test again. Let's try dragging into memo field. Nothing happens if we drag it into the button. There we go, it works, and we can draw multiple files into the button, and there you go. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and easy to follow. Leave me a comment if I missed anything, and thanks for watching.